Podcast. It's your boy Mike Caldewayno, and we are back at it. We back at it. It's the Out the Way Podcast. It's your boy Mike Caldewayno. We're gonna get straight into it. So, uh, girl. So basically, um, what is it today? It is August fourteenth. I just wanted to jump in with y'all. So basically, um, late post, but I wanna, I wanna huge shout out to my wifey, my beautiful wife. Thank you for being a part of my life. I don't know where I would be without you. Um, and don't try to make it look like I'm a simp. I'm a real nigga, okay? At the end of the day, bro, I love my wife, and that is okay. A lot of y'all be doing a lot of stuff. I'm just trying to live life. I'm just trying to live life. We only got one, you feel me? So thank the Lord for my wife. Thank God for waking us up on this day. Ain't that right, Marley? That's my girl, Marley May. Marley Maskey. Um, like Bob Marley. But she's a girl. Anyway, um, happy anniversary to my wife, August 12th. It's now the 14th, but this is like a late post. We took a little road trip. We had some fun. We did some stuff. We, we kicked in. We went, we went pretty hard. Well, I ain't gonna cap. We ain't gonna soup. We ain't gonna stupid dummy hard. But if you're now tuned in, this is the Out the Way Podcast. It's your boy, Michael Dueno. Make sure you follow me on Facebook. Dueno, snap a lot. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Mike L. Dueno. Let's get into it. What do we got? What you doing good with me today? So I'm going to go to my spare. You know what? Um, I got an iPhone 7 here. I'm recording on an iPhone 12 Pro Max. So that, the 12 Pro Max, it's doing to me justice. But this 7 Plus right here, this, <laughs> listen, this one is, is confusing. It's doing a lot. It's being extra right now. So basically what I'm going to be doing here, I'm not going to keep y'all for too long, bro. I'm just really tapping in and doing some reactions. I'm just going to do some reactions. Real quick, though, I'll tell y'all about where we went. We went to Minneapolis. Um, never been to Minneapolis before. Uh, it was about a six and a half hour drive. Uh, it was pretty smooth, though. You know what I mean? Like, I'm used to, as far as road trips, I'm used to going to, like, Colorado. You know what I mean? I, I, Colorado's like my second home. You feel me? Uh I smoked weed for a lot of years, so, you know, it was legal up there, so I would go, that was the closest place, the best place, you know, Burner, if you know me, you know, I really mess with Burner, so I went up there a lot, but Minnesota was dope, as far as, like, the trip from where I'm at to Minnesota, it was smooth, um, what I will say is, like, being me from Top City, Everybody in Top City drives, like, slow, you know what I mean? And I'm not trying to make it sound like I'm a speed racer or anything like that, but when I got up to Minneapolis, bro, like, everybody was driving like it was, it was like I was in Topeka, bro. Everybody was, like, just chilling. Everybody was in, like, not that everybody needs to be speeding, but it was like, damn, I need to, like, y'all get out of my way, you know what I mean? It was real, it was real smooth up there. Went up there, seen the uh, George Floyd Memorial. That was beautiful, bro. Like, that touched my spirit. I went, I actually went inside the gas station. Because, you know, he got, he got killed outside. It wasn't even a gas station. He got killed. He died outside of a little store. Um, what's it called? It's on 30. 35th of Chicago or 38th of Chicago? You go look on my story. Well, my story is deleted, man, but 
I don't post my personal stuff like that on, on, on my server. I got I got a couple of faces. I got a couple. I got I got a lot of social medias. I got a couple different ones. If you know me and you personally know me in my life, you will you will have seen it. But uh, I'm gonna say what the store was called because what the whole landmark is called is George Floyd Memorial or George Floyd something. I forget, but. Um, you gotta forgive me. I didn't even realize like when before I went to and you gotta excuse me in the background. It's my my neighbor is cutting grass. Um, my neighbor actually doesn't even have to pay rent. Not to put this business out here, but he doesn't even have to pay rent because they got it sewed up with him. Um, so he got it sewed up so well that if he cuts the grass, of all of the tenants that live here on this block in this area. That's all they're charging him for the rent. He just gotta cut the grass. Mind you, he don't mind you, we live in the Midwest, so you don't have to cut grass all year. So he really got it made. So but if y'all hear that moan, you hear that lawnmower, that's my neighbor. Um, but yeah, stopped at the George Floyd Memorial. Beautiful. It was beautiful. It wasn't even not not only that it was not only was it just beautiful, but it was just like Oh man, it it, it touched my soul, bro. And then like I gotta apologize to my wife because she didn't want to go inside the place where he last went and bought something. You know what I mean? Like I went, I wanted to go in there to buy like a permanent marker because I wanted to write "Rest in Peace" somewhere from me. You know what I mean? And I didn't get a chance to because I was like, "What if it rains?" You know, I was looking for a rock something out there to write something out there because there was just so many flowers there was just so many memorial things going on there was just so many there was just so much out there going on as far and i was like man i need to i need to like put my stamp here you know what i mean even if it was like something to write an out the way podcast but i didn't do that you know what i mean and um but my wife she was like nigga i don't want to go up in here you know what i mean like Fuck this place. Excuse my French, but she was like, nah, I ain't with this place. Like, this is the last place George was at. You know what I mean? These people don't respect him. She, it's not that she didn't care about the whole situ, the whole landmark. She just was like, nah, forget that. Looking at the place was enough for her. Um, so I'm sorry about that, babe. But we did go inside. The last place I think he bought a cigarette. I may be wrong, but I feel like he went in there and bought a cigarette or something. And um, so I went up in there, and I was just like, "Yeah, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to go in the place where he took his last steps to get something before he came out here." And that cop killed him. You know what I mean? So we went by there, went by a few museums, you know, checked out some art. I never been to Minneapolis, um, but it was cool. It was smooth. You know what I mean? But I ain't gonna hold y'all too long. Mm. Oh. <laughs> That's not what I was trying to play. Let me get into what I was trying to play. I got some stuff. I got some stuff. I got some stuff. Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy has been in the news lately. Um, Soldier Boy has been in the news lately for what? Like, the nigga been broke. That's been the topic lately. He's been, he's ran out of money. Um, I guess he was like renting a place or whatever, but that's all he was doing. He wasn't even paying the bills. There was some other stuff going on. But I will say though, like we all can't cap, bro. Like Soldier Boy has, like for real, Soldier Boy was one of them dudes who was the first rapper. He was the first rapper to go viral on the internet. Period. We can't deny that. Like I remember, it was him first, and then I feel like Wiz Khalifa was second. This says that, uh, Jesus, this is, these words are small as hell. When I came in the game, they said I killed hip hop, but really, I birthed a new wave of hip hop with internet slash streaming. I was ahead of my time. Now everyone vlogs their career like me. That's true. That ain't, that ain't a lie. Now everyone uploads their music to the internet. Now everyone goes live for their fans. I started it. Thank me or not, flowers slash credit or not. 
He's not lying, bro. We got to get that to him. The only thing I don't like about Soldier Boy is Soldier got to grow up. Soldier got to grow up. I'm not saying he hasn't grown up, but like as far as how he maneuvers himself on the internet, like grow up, bro. The fact that you started all of that is one thing, but like get in your bag a different way. You started that. Let's not continue. Like, can Soldier Boy still be beefing with niggas? Soldier Boy be on here talking crazy. Soldier Boy be doing a lot because that's all he's ever known. That viral, that viral sensation type of stuff. You got a whole, you got a kid now, bro. It's time to be a little bit different. I want to uh, shout out to Magoo here because uh, Magoo, if you are my age, you know who Magoo is. Um, formerly part of rap group Timberland and Magoo has reportedly passed away. Shout out Magoo, man. Magoo was on the list for one, being one of the worst rappers of all time. But that ain't about this and this ain't about that. I want to say rest in peace to Magoo because Magoo was on some slaps back in the day. Shout out Timberland and Aaliyah and Missy Elliott and all the work that y'all did because I was, I'm, listen, I'm a hip hop historian. Don't come for me, bro. Don't come, listen. Don't come for me, bro. I'm a hip hop historian. Rest in peace, Magoo. But um, that's sad to hear. That's sad to hear. That is truly sad to hear. I don't know what happened. I'm going to have to do some further research to see what's going on. Rest in peace, Magoo, though. Let's have a moment of silence for him. Straight up, straight like that. It's the Out the Way podcast. I'm so glad Mike Kelly Wayne home. Shut the fuck This nigga Bill Cosby hit with yet another rape lawsuit. Singer Morgan Carr claims he drugged and raped her on multiple occasions. Between 1987 and 1990. At some point, we have to really sit here and reflect. Damn, Bill. That's it. I ain't got nothing else to say about it. That's it. Like, damn, Bill. Damn. Like, Bill already went and did time. Rob, Rob is still in jail for what he's done. But damn, Bill. You done went and did time already. You're out. Cosby is out, y'all. And there is still women coming for him. I don't know. Drop a comment. Let me know what y'all. Hey, it's the Out the Way Podcast. It's your boy Dwayne O'Trouble. Some people call me Michael Dwayne. Tell me what's going on. So here we have uh, Will Smith opens up about how fame has affected his family negatively. Nobody in my family was happy. Will Smith opens up about how fame has affected his family negatively. Nobody. Is happy. Nobody in my family is happy. So what I say to you guys is if any of my listeners or are, are, are any of my viewers, any of my viewership has any morals or goals, think about it. Do you guys have or know anybody close to you that wants to be close to fame? I was one who wanted to be famous for a long time. My whole 20s, I wanted to be famous. Until I got married when I was 30. Um, until about 33, I'm not going to cap. I wanted to be famous again at 33. But then I was like, nigga, you old. In the famous game, as far as wanting to be a rapper, you old. Why are you trying to be famous at 33? <laughs> like, stop it. So you got Will Smith here who's over 50 and said fame. Ruined. Like, it ain't ruined, but ruined his family negatively. Affected his family negatively. Fame. Cameras. Social media. You guys got to be careful. You got to know what you're getting into. I guess you got some people who will sit around and be like, you know what? Whatever it come with, I need the attention. I need it. What's popping? Let's have at it. It is what it is. I'm not there yet. 
not me personally, but you know what I mean? You guys might, somebody might be out there, but might be like, I'm not there yet. Maybe you are, but be careful. Definitely be careful because like from what I've, what I've seen in the relationships of the people that I do know personally that have gotten a little bit of fame, and it's been a few years since I've had re close relationships with individuals who've had that type of situation. I, I like I don't know anybody personally who's had huge, huge, huge fame. But just seeing, looking from the outside, a situation like this with him and his wife and August Alcina and all of that, that was super messy. And my whole message is like, be careful. Like I know some of you guys out there want to have this planted in your life and it may or may not be the best situation for you. I just want to know do I look inappropriate for work? I just want to know do I look inappropriate for work? be doing bro is I be DMing myself a lot of the stuff that's going on that I wanna that I wanna discuss. And so it hit different. So yeah, probably better wrap this up. Um, what I wanted to say real quick was that I got some folks coming through. Uh, my boy Reed. The dad I talked to right now, you wish he was oh, talking to. My boy Reed coming through. I ain't gonna say her name, but she coming through. We're gonna have another podcast for y'all. Uh, my boy D coming through. We're gonna try to keep this moving. We're gonna try to keep the Out of the Way podcast moving and grooving. You feel me? The way it's set up ain't too bad you feel me i appreciate y'all tapping in tuning in plugging in um shout out to my guys that started this with me from day one um yeah so you know i just wanted to get down here and tap in one time and see what's going on but for the most part um, I just want to thank y'all for rocking with me. We're gonna keep this moving. We're gonna keep this. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we we definitely gonna keep this going. I thought about doing some reviews to the shy, but I don't know how many of my viewers and my and, and my listeners listen to watch that show. You know what I mean, let me know. Drop a comment if y'all checked out the first couple episodes, and let's get it all. You know what I mean? This is going on Spotify here. This will be on Spotify by the night. It is Monday. August 14th. Uh, I just want to let y'all know, you know what I mean? I love y'all. Uh, I hope y'all love the Lord.